Welcome back to another edition of the Yodelcast. I'm your host, Doc Lettuce, bringing to you the other ESL semifinals. Uh, we initially watched the IDK versus MME, where IDK triumphed and moved on to the finals, and we will now be watching Heartbreakers versus Y. I do have with me Apple Juice here, unfortunately, to make a couple of predictions, uh, so let's get those started as this map is about to get underway. Juice, what do you predict? Um, I do expect Heartbreakers to take it, but I think uh, working as intended is going to put up a good fight. I think it'll be interesting. Could go to three maps. I disagree. I think it's going to be a 2-0 here by Heartbreakers. They've been on a roll recently, and they've just been overall very, very strong. Uh, we have had a quick mix-up here, and it looks like everyone has joined the team uh, because a couple games are breaking. But we can just go ahead and discuss everything going on uh, while that's going on. Uh, so as I mentioned, I think it'll be a 2-0 here. Uh, and I don't even think that uh, Y is going to be able to get more than four caps on the board. I think Heartbreakers is just so dominant right now. And uh, I expect uh, we're going to see that in uh, in a two-map sweep. Uh, I, I, I disagree. I, I think uh, Working in 10 is going to surprise you. They're going to pull off a, a couple of upsets here and there and get a good, good, good couple of caps, put some pressure on the team, and uh, yeah, really make it a good map. All right, thanks as always, Apple Juice, for coming to make your predictions. He will not be co-casting with me. I will be finishing this off solo casting. So this game is getting underway. I'm going to give you guys a roster rundown. On the Blood Eagle side, we do have Heartbreakers with Mimelin, Effix, Shaz, Bins, Miri, and LB, and Knutson. And on Diamond Sword, we do have Y with Johnny the Juicy, J, Arkadizzle, Streen, Icy Pan, Shakali, G Reaper, and NVC. As an extra uh, additional little function that I'm testing out here tonight, guys, I am connected to a mumble of the Heartbreakers team. I am not able to speak. I've disabled my microphone there. But throughout the cast, I will sometimes give you guys a sound of what it sounds like in their, uh, in their mumble channel. Um, just as we can get started here, though, Shaz has grabbed the flag and brought it all the way back to his midfield before getting sniped down. Shakali, in the meantime, did pick up the Heartbreakers flag, and he's made it all the way back to his standoff spot. Uh, so we will already be heading into our first standoff very early into the match, only one minute in. Both teams are really getting their offenses started going here, but Shakali is going low, and Elby's coming in now to do some heavy damage with the chain gun fire, but he's staying around 480 right now. Elby's just not hitting those shots, misses everything, and does end up going down, so... Shakali's going to be safe. Miri's going to be holding on to the flag here for the Heartbreakers team. Setting up, they do have points for the inventory stations already because they are uh, cooled credits. So that's not going to be a problem. And uh, Miri's just going to stick stick with it for now. They will be running with their three defensive setup here, which will be a sniper and two soldiers, I believe. This should be, yep. This will be Effic. Or Effic's actually in the Raider right now, which is bizarre. Normally he is in that soldier, but uh, it could be he's trying out a new tactic here in the Raider. So I'm very, I'll be very interested to see how it goes. Uh, as we do have Johnny the Juicy Jace and Stream coming in to do some fire. Icy Pan's there in the Infiltrator. That could be a problem. They don't see him. He does miss, though, and they should be able to see him now. Smoke Grenade goes off, but it's not going to be enough. He does go down. And it uh, looks like Miri's going to be perfectly fine. In the other side, though, G-Reaper has just dropped the flag. There are a lot of people from Heartbreakers there. They're just bouncing the flag right now. It's LB and Shaz. Shaz manages to land on it and gets the return. Shakali comes in, though, though, very nicely. Was already ready for the E-Grab. Miri, in the meantime, did end up going downstream. Could possibly get this return, but he does end up dying. And this will be picked up by the Heartbreakers team. So Shakali is trying to get away here, but he is being intercepted by Miri and Shaz. LB's slowly starting to make his way over now. Shakali going down very quickly, down to 480. Uh... We did have a drop there of the flag on uh, on the Heartbreaker side, but it was quickly picked up again. Knutson has dropped it, though. Shakali drops it as well. Miri's going to be able to pick it up for the Heartbreaker's team. Shaz is going to get the return. Can they get another E-grab off? It does not look like they are going to be able to do so. And Miri's going to come in here and make it the 1-0. So a very action-packed first three minutes. Some great play coming out there from both teams. Uh, good play, especially by Shakali coming in there and making sure the E-grabs happened. Uh, but unfortunately for him and his team, it just wasn't quite enough. So I'm going to go ahead and take a look here at this stand here for the Y team. We do have two soldiers and Arkadizzle doing the sniping. Uh, so it's the fairly standard setup. They're basically mirroring each other, except their defenses are doing things slightly different. NVC is staying a lot closer to the flag stand uh, compared to uh, Epix on the other side, who really goes out there, and you can see there is protecting... Uh, well, not protecting, but I guess he might, must, might have just spawned there. But he does go out very far. We have seen him play that role before, sort of the midfield role. And I'll be very curious to see how the two defenses match up against each other. Nimlin is here in the Infiltrator, also trying to do stuff, but he gets quickly taken out by NBC. Uh, G Reaper is really the only one there, but Streen actually is getting the grab, doing a front to back, but gets sniped down there by Knutson. So Shikali is going to come and try and make the pickup, but he gets sniped down as well. So it's going to be an easy return here for the Heartbreakers team. 
And on the other side, I don't really see all that much happening. Uh, I'm sort of wondering what's going on here. Elby's really the only one there, and it looks like all their offense has just gone down. Uh, so just to, uh, Shaz actually was trying to go in there, but he got quickly taken down by the defense. Mimelin's going in there now, but not really sure what he's doing. He isn't a Pathfinder, so maybe trying to just do some dual capping here. Uh, it's a strategy that has worked for them in the past, but he is already going down very low. He does toss it off, misses the punt. LB might be able to get this midair grab, and he does. What a great grab there. He was far out by the time that was thrown, so a good, good play by him. Johnny the Juicy J and NVC are going after him. Shakali is sort of in the back there, lining up for a grab. His flag has just been returned, though, and they really need to get this grab off now. Icy Pan's coming in, so is Streen. Uh, LB misses the... or sorry. Okay, they did manage to get the cap there. Um, LB actually ran into the tower, or the tunnel. God, couldn't think of that word to save my life. Uh, ran into the tunnel, which delayed him a little bit, but he did get it in the end. In the meantime, though, the E-grab after the fact did manage to get fairly far to the midfield, but they did take them down, and FX and Binz and Mimlim are all going to be able to get this return. Uh, so just to clarify quickly, uh, just to make sure there's no issues going on here, the mumble thing, I am completely muted. As you can see, I even enabled the overlay so people can see that I am not able to talk and that I am not talking. It obviously lights up white, as you will see. Uh, when I let the other people talk, uh, so they cannot hear my cast, and that's just for fairness sake. Uh, they can't really use much of the information that I'm using in my cast to help them out anyway, but, you know, just for safety's sake, I'm just gonna keep it as is. Uh, with that said, it should be a fun little feature, uh, and since since there's no action currently going on except for general scan stuff, I'm just gonna keep talking about it for now. I'd really like you guys to give me comments on it when I do end up using it. Uh, because this is something I would like to start doing more and more if possible, and maybe even potentially get two different uh, mumbles up and running with each team so I can listen in on both their casts, but or both their channels, sorry, rather. Um, so yeah, please make sure you leave comments as Shaz does get a grab and actually gets it off to Mimelin, who was waiting there in the midfield, but he doesn't have much speed at all. Only 130, down to 550 health. Shakali coming in over the top. Maybe going to try and get a Nitron or just go for the E, but no, a Nitron actually comes in from Icy Pan from the other side. Shaz is going to be able to pick it up, though, here. Johnny the Juicy J is really the only one in the back there able to... Well, close at all, but he's got a regen. He has no health, and he can't really afford to go in. Binz is even going to stop and take him down. Or at least duel him and prevent him from coming. Shaz is just pretty much going to be able to walk this home. Icy Pan is trying to get an E-grab off, but he's not going to be able to. Shakali comes flying in, gets a nice Nitron off, and Shaz does drop the flag, but it's not going to be enough. Shaz does pick it up, and he's just getting enough energy. He is going to be able to get this cap, so there we go. 3-0 for the Heartbreakers team. Uh, not quite seven minutes gone let, uh, yet, but uh, very close. And uh, actually, on the next time a grab happens, I am going to go ahead and let you guys listen to their, to their mumble. I don't know who's going to grab, so it'll be interesting either way. Um, but for now, we will just keep uh, blabbering on and on. The transitions will be a little bit more seamless later on, guys. I'm really just sort of working out how I best want to do this. So as always, please leave comments below on your opinions and thoughts as to when you want to hear it, uh, because this is really just for you guys. If you guys don't enjoy it at all, I won't bother doing it. Uh, but I think it should be something a little, uh, kind of fun and kind of different for you guys. So here we go. We do see Streen and Icy Pan starting to do some nice distracting here, but there are a lot of people on defense here, actually. Ethics, Binz is even doing defense. LV's even coming in now. I don't even know what's going on here. They have a lot more people on defense than I thought. Shakali's gotten the flag, though, and here you go. Yep. Yeah, oh, fuck. I'll kill the turd. Leave the turd not... to me. All right, okay. I, I can't kill the turd. No, we can't kill it. Oh, for fuck's sake. Understood. So Why don't care about it. Hope, about hope they won't realize. Hope they won't realize. Hope they won't realize. Come on. And there you go, my apologies guys, it is PG-18, or rated R rather, so, <laughs> you know, you gotta expect the curse words to be coming out in a uh, game like this, it's very intense, and uh, we did just see, obviously, the cap there, very uncontested, uh, Mimelin came in at the last second to try and do a bit of an e-grab, but no dice on that one, uh, Shaz might be coming in here to get the flag, if he does, no, I was gonna go ahead and let you guys listen to it when they get the flag, so I will wait and do that next time, uh, Mimelin's actually just hanging out here, I'm not entirely sure why. Uh, but he's gonna be taken to here down here by NBC, which is kind of pointless anyway because uh, Shaz had already died and gone down. So we are gonna go ahead and swap here to the Heartbreaker stand. They're being dueled right now by Stream. Shakali's coming in for a nice side to side. He does manage to grab it. Uh, unfortunately, there are a little bit of turret problems and camera problems. And Shakali's actually getting away a lot more than I expected. I believe Knutson is dead, so they really need an e grab here for the for the Heartbreaker side. They do indeed. Oh my god, what an amazing play there by NBC, actually jumping right in front of LB as he punted the flag, and the flag was punted right into him, resulting in him returning it. And here you go, guys. Set up for something. Yeah, I'm ready for a grab Nice, Shaz. Yes. Okay, okay I'm three. You're on the half HP front, right, left. Nice. I have it. Good. 
So as you can see there, you did hear obviously that Binz was setting up for the re-grab and he is actually has just made the grab and as we are now watching him, so you can see the tactics that they are mentioning, even though they had the flag, they weren't focused that much on it, they were focused on what was going to happen afterwards. It's a very important part of this game uh, because it's, you know, as especially seen for other teams, they are not dangerous on the first grab, it is the second grab when none of your defense is there, but instead their flag, uh, the flag has just been gone down in the field and returned, so good play there by the... Uh, y team getting their guys all the way over there, but you can see here Mimelin has already was set up waiting for that return There was no defense there and the defense mostly killed out. So he's all the way home It's just Johnny Ju the juicy J able to here to stop him He does stop and takes him down But FX is probably gonna be able to pick this up and there's really no one there uh, Streen is the only one able to make me grab but he's not gonna be able to do so NBC's coming in last second still not able to do anything and there we go the five to two there for the heartbreakers team So good play by heartbreakers. You can see they're really setting up that they're they Really, they've been working on that quite a bit, and it's working out very nicely. Icy Pan tried to be a little cheeky there, and Binz had uh, been chucking up a couple grenades there, making sure that he wasn't going to go anywhere. So good play there by Binz, uh, not letting Icy Pan out of his sight. But good play again there from Heartbreakers. I mean, that was, you know, they always have someone there ready to grab the flag, and you can see there it really worked out well for them. Even though the flag was returned there at one point, it was all the way back at their base, and they had a strong chance of actually capping that. Uh, Mimlin did make a grab there side to side, but does go down, so it looks like they're actually switching to the two capper strategy we don't see them run it that often so they must have some particular reason for running it this time as shaz is actually going to do it front to back but he has pretty much no health arca does, does snipe him down uh, as should be when when you try and make a grab like that in the meantime the heartbreaker flag did just get returned chikali came in i think a little bit too early and uh no dice on getting the flag there because it was stuck in the tunnel uh, so yeah, so far it's just been overall pretty solid play from from both teams. Heartbreakers has just been a little bit better on the re-grabs, and uh, they had they've always seemed to have someone there for the grab, and so that's been very you know very effective for them. They've they've gotten I think two pretty solid caps out of having someone there for the pickup once the flag has been returned and no defense is there. So it's it'll be interesting to see how they manage to turn this around for the Y team and see if they're able to actually counter that strategy because it's very difficult. They're going to have to possibly leave someone at base the whole time, and that's not really something you want to do when you really want to get your flag back. Uh, we see Johnny, the Juicy J, and the rest of the offense did just get taken down here for the Y team, so we're going to go ahead and swap over to their flag stand. Uh, we do see G, G Reaper just popping around there. Arkadizzle doing the sniping as always. Uh, I don't see NVC. NVC was actually all the way up there dueling LB. He's running away right now. Um, I guess he's just going to try and keep him occupied for now and hope that his sniper does the work. There's some good spam coming in from LB though. Those Mervs are really doing damage. LB was being heavily mowed down there by NVC, doing very good, doing a very very good job. And, uh, and he does take him down, so it's just going to be Shaz all by himself. Sniper shots are missing here from Arkadizzle, so Shaz might be able to get this. G Reapers actually does go down. The flag stand is clear. Shaz is going to be able to get this. A grenade comes in at the last second. It does damage Shaz down to 300, but he's probably getting away here. 240. It's all up to the sniper now, but there's no line of sight on the sniper. Mimlin even out in a shrike now, and Shaz is going to be able to make this a 6-2 game. Bin's there with the re-grab, the thing that is so devastating. No one was on the stand. G Reaper is there to intercept him, but Mimlin's coming in now to try and help him out. He pops his shield pack, but does get sniped down by Arkadizzle. Good job on Arkadizzle with the sniping there. Johnny Juicy J is about to get here for the return just before the Shrike comes in. Good uh, good job there getting that return, uh, or else that could have been pretty devastating. He, uh, the Shrike would have been able to bounce the flag up in the air, buying his team a fair amount of time, but instead no dice. Uh, so we are going to go ahead and take a take a little peek here at the strike and see how he manages to do and what he does. He did spot Shikali there. It'll be he's not actually going to turn around and go after him though, and he's being he's you know people are starting to focus on him, so he's got to be careful. You know, strikes are starting to get targeted in these competitive games really quickly. No one wants to see them on the field, so it's very important to take them down. And you can see that actually is a really great distracting tool. LB would normally be being dueled here by NVC, um, but instead they're really focused on this strike, and that's. I don't know. I don't know if that's a great idea. I mean, they do need to take it down because it can be devastating. But on the other hand, if they focus on it too much, they're gonna get in. Uh, they're gonna get in some serious trouble. Uh, so we are gonna go ahead and stick on their stand as we see Shaz is about to come in now. I am gonna go ahead and give you guys the their mumble chat because this could potentially be the last cap. But no, Shaz does go down, so I am gonna keep casting. We are gonna go ahead and swap flag sands there as LB also went down, so no cap, no grab rather, for the Heartbreakers team. I don't see any distraction or spam coming in from the Y team. Shikali is. Probably about 10 seconds out though, so we should see some stuff coming in now. Icy Pan is there in the Infiltrator, so he's certainly ready to do his job. But Ethics, Miri, and Knutson are all alive. No one spotted him yet. Shaz actually does did grab the flag, but it got returned, so I'm not going to go ahead and give you guys a voice. Miri's at half health. There's a Claymore on the stand as well, so they're going to have to be careful. I don't know if Shikali's going to be able to get this. No clearing, and he does fall down to the Claymore. 
So that's a shame there for the Y team. They really should have uh, noticed that Claymore there. I'm kind of surprised they didn't. Stream was actually spamming in a Pathfinder, which is... Eh, it's, it's an okay strategy, but uh, there just wasn't enough distracting going on there. And uh, so unfortunately, he sort of wasted his life in that sense. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and swap back here to this stand. LB, Mimelin, everyone getting ready. Mimelin actually in an Infiltrator. Um, that'll be interesting to see what he's what he's planning on doing down there. He's just staying down there for now, not really doing any distracting. Shaz is getting ready now. G-Reaper doesn't seem to have spotted him. He is going to grab this flag. Where, what's he going to do with it? He dies there, and the flag's down right below. LB is not going to pick it up, and Shaz actually going to come alter his route. There we go, pulling off the very first Swedish switcheroo here, or the Swedish turnabout, rather. And a little bit of lag there on my part, but it does look like Shaz is going to be able to cap it. So here you go, guys. No, never mind. It's going to give you that, but yeah. Instead, Shikali decided to prolong this game. Very well done by him. Not giving up on that side-to-side -side route. If Shaz had not quite bounced into that tunnel, he might have gotten the cap. But uh, Shikali does toss the flag off there to Streen as he was sniped down. Fx has tossed it off to Muri, and uh, Streen's going to toss it off to G Reaper. So we will be moving into his standoff here. Um, so yeah, uh, that was an interesting play there by Mimelin. I don't think he intended to dive, but the flag still popped in the exact place he wanted it to. Bin's actually coming in there with an amazing return. Came flying in from nowhere. Here you go, guys. Let's hear it. Defense. Something on the stand as well. Chasing. Chasing. Oh, I've got the return now. Nice. Nice. Good game, okay. We should... A very subdued reaction from the Heartbreakers team. A little bit of shame. I expected more class out of them on there, more yelling and screaming. But uh, props to them for taking this first map, seven to two. Uh, we will be moving on to the second map, which will be a which will be picked here from the uh, from the Y side. Uh, this is the ESL rule, so they get to choose a second map, and I believe Heartbreakers will get to choose the side. Um, they have not decided yet, so I'm just going to go ahead and cut the cast off here for you guys. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed that little sound uh, shenanigans that I was pulling. Uh, I will continue to do it on the second map. If you guys really don't like it, please let me know as soon as you can. Please post in the comments because I will stop doing it if you guys don't enjoy it. Uh, otherwise, I'll... Uh, yeah. Otherwise, I'll just keep doing it and uh, try and improve it and make it as more seamless as I can. So thanks, everyone, for watching. I will see you on the second map. I have no idea what it is. 